Hey there, welcome back to coding stuff and in the previous video we have converted object to JSON and we have also deserialized it and in this video we will we'll see how to handle the object inside the object we will convert that into JSON and we will also deserialize it we will convert back that JSON to object as well so first of all we will need uh, the JSON dependency so just search JSON Android dependency it is official Google's uh, library and we'll just copy this implementation and I will paste it in the build.gradle app level and over here control V and hit on the sync now create one JSON object over here so JSON JSON equals to new JSON and we'll create one model class so hit on the package new Java class and name it as a student and here we will create three variables so private string let's say m name so whenever we fetch the api and the json keys can be weird let's say you want to name your variable uh, as you want okay so json key will be named but i want this variable as m name so you can just serialize it so just write here annotation serialize name and we'll pass in here name and again we'll just uh, serialize for email as well so this will be email and private string and email and for the age as well so age and private int m age and we'll hit a right click hit on generate create constructor and I'll select all of this okay so now we'll create another class so new java class and let's name it as a course and again we'll just uh, write here private string and this will be course course name and then the private int M phase so we can just uh, serialize them as well so add uh, an annotation and serialize name we will pass the course name and this will be annotation serialize name and we will pass in the fees and we'll just uh, right click hit on generate and create constructor select both okay so now in the student uh, we need to create one object of our course class course course and we just pass in the course over here course and course and then this dot course equals to course and in the main activity so first of all we'll create one course uh, object so course course equals to new course and here we'll pass in the java and fees will be let's say 299 and then we need to create object of student class so student student equals to new student and let's pass here john and let's pass his email so john at the rate gmail.com and then we need to pass the age so let's pass 18 and then we need to pass this course and then we'll put a semicolon okay so now we need to create one string to hold the json value then we'll just write here json dot to json and we'll pass in this student object again we can just log this so log d and instead of tag we'll just write here test and we'll just delete this message and we'll pass in the json and we'll put debugger over here and i will hit on this debug button okay so we have converted our object to json uh, now let me just copy this so ctrl c and i will open this subline and I will paste it over here so let me just uh, beautify it okay so as you can see we have this 
uh, first we have this age uh, email and name that belongs to the student object and then we have this uh, nested object course and it is holding the value of course name and fees course name as a key and java as a value same fees is a key and 299 is its value and we have this field as well and this belongs to student object so we have converted our object to json and this was the serialization and now we'll see how we can deserialize them so i'll just minimize this and i'll just copy this again okay so what we'll do we'll just comment these three lines so control slash and we'll create one string so string let's say json put double inverted and paste that json over here and it will add backslash for us to avoid the confusion and then we'll just create the student object so student student equals to json dot from json and here we have to pass the json and then we have to pass the class so that will be student class student dot class let's put semicolon over here and instead of passing the json we'll just pass student here dot to string and again i will hit on this debug button so this was our json but now you can see the student object created and inside that we have the values age email and name and we have one object inside the student course that is holding the value of course name java and m fees that is uh, the 299 one thing you can notice uh, this is m fees but in our json that is fees so it has serialized it by using this annotation this annotation and this is working fine okay so that's it for this video in the next video we'll see how we can handle arrays inside the object so thank you for watching